I know, I know, it's a lot to take in, but radishes do produce a fruit. The reason you don't hear about this is, well, radishes, usually when you grow them, you pick them before they can produce a fruit. At that stage, the roots are, I believe, the largest. So if you let them sit for too long, if you don't pick them in time, eventually they're gonna try to spread their seeds. So these little pods will start appearing on the plant. Before I get too crazy here, I want to send a very big thank you out to Jake from Atlanta, Georgia for sending these to me. Uh, this is something that I wasn't even aware of. I don't grow anything, so I didn't know that radishes produced a fruit. I guess it makes sense that they do. In fact, in some cultures, these are allowed to fruit so people can make a variety of different dishes out of them. In India, radish pods, I believe, are called mungra, and they are a common vegetable. There is one variety of radish called the rat tail radish, and those are actually not normally collected for the roots, they are collected for the pods. So Jake sent me two different uh, varieties that he's growing. Uh, this is the pod from a watermelon radish, and this is the pod from a Spanish radish. I'm not sure if there's gonna be much difference between the two, but uh, let's give them both a try and see if there is. First, I'm gonna try the watermelon radish. It looks a little bit different. This one's a little bit whiter in color. Yeah, that's satisfying. It's a nice satisfying crunch. But they're spicy. I think the root is a little bit stronger, but this tastes like a radish just with the texture of a snow pea and maybe a little bit milder and with a little bit more of um, like a vegetable-y kind of taste. Hmm, that's good. What's nice about this is it's spicy enough where you wouldn't need to put that much on it. Next, I'll try the Spanish radish, see if there's any difference. Yeah. These ones are a little sweeter. The sweetness on both of these is, is so low, it doesn't really qualify for the scale. It's like a one or less. It's definitely more in the flavor of being like a vegetable. But there is a little bit of sweetness there. And these have more. Those are good. And it is kind of boggling to me that this is not more commonly done. I think you can use these things like anywhere you would use any kind of bean pot. Like if you were to, uh, how you'd use like a snow pea or a green bean, you could do it with this and it'd be like totally fine. So uh, I'm gonna try a few different things just to see like how these stack up. First, in hummus. Super simple hummus recipe. Can of beans, juice of one lemon, one clove of garlic, some tahini, I'm all out of tahini. Okay, hold on. One cup sesame seeds, Oh yeah, cover this thing, otherwise they'll fly out. Take a touch of olive oil. Tahini. How much is this? I don't know. Pinch of salt. Two cracks of pepper. Glug of olive oil. That's good. 
Okay, so I don't have a whole ton of these. However, I am going to attempt to make a, a very small amount of radish pod pickles, which is something that has been suggested a lot on the internet. So I've got a pot here. In this pot, I'm going to take one half cup of apple cider vinegar, one half cup of water, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. While I'm waiting for the brine to come to a boil, I'm gonna take these two little containers here and get my uh, radish pods ready. I'm gonna take a couple of allspice berries and put them in the bottom of each one of these jars. I'm gonna take one long pepper and put it in each. You can also use just regular black pepper, of course, but uh, you know, I've got these and I wanna use them. So I'm gonna put one of those in each and uh, I'm gonna take one half of a clove of garlic and put it in each. Next, I will put my radish pods in. Oh, in, in one of these, I'm gonna take a slice of a very hot chili pepper and throw that in there just to keep it a little bit exciting. So we've got spicy pickles and regular ones. You want to keep them submerged and these things do like to float. So I'm going to just uh, put the tops on, but I'm not going to screw them down. Okay, now that they're room temperature, I'm going to screw on these, uh, these rings. Nice and tight. And I'm going to store them in the fridge like this. That way uh, they get completely submerged. So it's been five days, I think. And I'm going to try these radish pod pickles. I can't get it open. All right, show's over. Hey, before you click out, I want to give a very special thank you to AltPod, Smarter Every Day, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. Let's first try the non-spicy ones. Oh! They still have a kick to it. They're sour, they're salty, they're spicy. The texture on it is um, is pretty nice. Still retains the crispiness. That would be good in a lot of things. I think just putting some on a salad or putting it on a sandwich or something would be good. I mean, they're small enough where instead of putting like pickle slices on your burger, you can just throw some radish pods on there. Why not? And it would give it more of a punch than uh, a regular pickle would. Uh, next, let's try the spicy ones, which I am terrified of. Ho! Oh. Tastes the same, but if you lit it on fire. Yeah, I've got some very, very hot chili peppers in my freezer, so by taking just a random slice out of those chili peppers. Uh, most of the time it ends up being a very hot one. So I think that's a little bit of ghost pepper in there. And even though it just sat and infused, it picked it up. Like heat scale, I mean, maybe like a five. You know, it's, it's not intolerable, but it's more than a jalapeno. It is good though. If you like spicy things, throw a hot chili pepper in your brine. And that's definitely gonna zip up anything you're making with it. Well, I think that is about it. Uh, thanks again to Jake for sending these to me. It's really cool to get a chance to try something that, you know, honestly, I didn't even really know about. Uh, radishes have a fruit, and those fruits are really tasty. You can do a lot with them, and um, yeah, I learned something today. Hope you did as well, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, before you click out, I want to give a very special thank you to AltPod, Smarter Every Day, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Uh, Patreon.com, if you haven't heard of it, it is how this channel happens. It's how I get 
all the funding to go on the trips I go on and how I get all the fruit that I try. So if you're interested in supporting my channel, uh, check out the link in the description below. Uh, another thing is that I have t-shirts for sale. Those are also available in the description below as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.